Lakes provide the perfect opportunity to cool off and make some memories with friends and family. Happy memories, however, aren't the only thing a person may leave with if they decide to visit some of the lakes on this list. The bodies of water listed here all hide sinister secrets and even danger under their pristine surfaces. Find out what lakes to avoid this summer, or if you're a thrill seeker, which ones to visit. Located in Gainesville, United States of America, Georgia, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers built Lake Lanier in 1956 in an effort to prevent flooding from the Chattanooga River and to provide power and water to remote areas of Georgia. While the lake's construction is considered an engineering success, it came at a high cost. Under the lake's serene surface lie the ruins of the former town of Oscarville. The town was once an up-and-coming community mostly comprised of black-owned businesses and land. More than 50,000 acres of land, including cemeteries, were destroyed, and at least 250 families were displaced in preparation for the lake's creation. The water engulfed the town's buildings, many of which divers say sit intact at the bottom of the lake. The lake's somber beginning isn't the only thing that casting a shadow over its legacy. The land where it was built bore witness to many acts of violence against black citizens, many of whom were accused of crimes of which they were likely innocent. Since 1956, more than 700 deaths have occurred at the lake, including various drownings caused by capsized boats that had somehow been ensnared by the buildings below. The number of deaths has easily made this lake one of the deadliest in the United States. People have also reported seeing shadowy figures along the lake's shores. One of these is a young woman in a blue dress who is missing her hands and screams near the shore. Locals believe she's the spirit of a woman who died when she and her friend crashed into the lake soon after its construction. Her tragic story is only one of the hundreds that haunt the lake. Stowe Lake is located in San Francisco's Golden Gate Park. The lake is a favor among the city's residents and has provided a local place for respite for decades. The lake can be peaceful as long as visitors don't mind the resident ghost said to haunt its waters. The tale of the White Lady of Stowe Lake dates back to the early 1900s, when a young woman was walking by the lake with her three children. One of them was an infant, whom she pushed in a baby carriage. Becoming exhausted, the mother sat on a lakeside bench and was soon joined by a friend. As the friends chatted away, the carriage began rolling down into the lake without either woman noticing. When the mother looked up and discovered the carriage was missing, she ran into the lake but couldn't locate it or her baby. Devastated, she drowned herself in the shallow edge of the lake. Legend now says a woman dressed in white will appear to visitors and beg for their help to find her baby. White Rock Lake in East Dallas, Texas, looks beautiful and serene on the surface. This serenity, however, is deceiving since locals in the area have claimed for decades to have encountered a pale young woman there, whom they call the Lady of the Lake. She allegedly asks those who cross her path for a ride home. Those who report giving the young woman a ride say they'll look away for only a second, and in that time, the woman will suddenly vanish, leaving only a damp spot where she once sat. Tales of the woman date back to the 1930s. The legend's origins are unclear, but locals have posited various theories about who she is. The best-known story says the woman was heading home from a dance with her boyfriend one night when he suddenly lost control of the car and crashed into the lake, drowning them both. 
Another story says the apparition is that of a woman who took her own life at the lake after her lover broke her heart. Regardless of which story a person chooses to believe, reports of the Lady of the Lake continue to this day. Locals and visitors have been using Wisconsin's Lake Superior for longevity and recreation for hundreds of years, and as a result, the body of water has garnered the chilling nickname, the Graveyard of the Great Lakes. Some of the most infamous paranormal tales that accompany Lake Superior include sightings of ghost ships, like the SS Bannockburn, which inexplicably vanished on the lake in 1902. No bodies or wreckage were ever found. Another eerie ship tale is that of the SS Hudson, which sank in 1901, resulting in the deaths of its entire crew. People have claimed to see the ship on the anniversary of its demise and to have spoken to apparitions aboard the ship, who claim they're damned to relive their deaths every year. Various other stories of murders on the shores and on the islands of the lake have led to many reported sightings of ghostly figures and odd sounds. The lake's sheer size has also made it the perfect place to dump bodies and hide secrets over the decades. The story of Connecticut's Gardner Lake dates back to 1895, when much of the area was owned by the Gardner family, hence the lake's name. The Gardner family loved the lake and built their home near its shore. One year, however, the family decided to move to the other side of the lake, and they attempted to slide their house across it when the water froze during the winter. They placed the house on wooden slabs, and the process of hauling the house began. The trip was meant to take two days, and at the end of the first, all seemed to be going well. That night, however, the ice cracked, and the house sunk into the depths of the frozen lake. While it's unclear whether or not some of the family members drowned in their attempt to save the home, reports of apparitions around the lake are attributed to them. People have also reported hearing piano music coming from the water. Divers have reported the home and the objects inside, including a piano, are intact at the bottom of the lake. Spirit Lake is a beautiful, unassuming lake filled with deep, dark water and, for those familiar with its history, a tragic story. According to legend, the Kootenai people native to the area once called the lake clear water. The Kootenai chief had a daughter named Hayapam, who fell in love with a warrior from their tribe named Hashti Lame Home. The lovers, however, were not destined to be together, as the chief had already promised his daughter to a rival tribe's chieftain. Upon learning this, the lovers jumped together into the lake and drowned. Since then, locals have claimed to see outlines of ghostly apparitions canoeing across the lake together. Visitors have also heard low, mournful sounds coming from the lake, which some believe are the lovers' cries as they look for a way to free themselves from the lake. Lake Ronkonkoma, located in Suffolk County, New York, was created by a retreating glacier, making it irregular in shape and unusually deep, up to 90 feet in certain areas. In the late 19th century, the lake gained popularity as a summer vacation spot that continues today, although many locals believe the lake may be cursed. Since the mid-1800s, about 200 reported drownings have occurred, and no one is sure why this lake's body count is so high. Some claim the high fatality rate can be attributed to a curse dating back to the 1600s, when a Setucket Indian princess named Tuscawana fell in love with an English settler. 
Tuscawana's father forbade her from seeing or associating with the man, resulting in the princess rolling out to the middle of the lake and stabbing herself in the heart. Legend says the woman's spirit now pulls down unsuspecting young men who swim in the lake in an attempt to replace her lost love. Many of the individuals who've drowned over the years have, indeed, been men, some of whose bodies have taken years to find. Many consider Veterans Lake the most haunted lake in the state of Oklahoma. The legend tied to Veterans Lake claims it's possessed by the spirit of a woman who drowned while attempting to save her child. The legend goes on to say that the woman will pull those who dare enter the lake after dark under the surface and drown them. Visitors have reported hearing and even seeing the apparition of a woman asking for help. Several years ago, a young girl drowned in a mysterious boating accident in Veterans Lake, giving locals more reason to believe the lake may be haunted. To this day, many refuse to swim in the lake at all. Lake Tahoe, which straddles the California-Nevada border, is one of the most visited and well-known lakes in the U.S. According to many people, it's also one of the most haunted. Visitors staying at the various lodges and hotels along the lake's shores often report apparitions, unmarked graves, and even unexplained screams. Some of the establishments, like Thunderbird Lodge and Hellman Ehrman Mansion, have been the sites of several deaths. Guests have reported seeing shadows and apparitions in the hallways, as well as hearing screams and odd sounds coming from the lake. One of the best known apparitions is that of a young woman in a wedding dress, who locals believe jumped into the lake and drowned herself after her lover left her at the altar. Another story is that of Tao Tessie, a serpent-like monster who allegedly swims in the depths of the lake. The history of Haunted Lake in Francistown, New Hampshire, and how it earned its name dates back to a fire that swept the area and left the trees and greenery around the lake blackened and charred. The landscape's appearance frightened those who traveled through the area. Another legend tells of two travelers who came to the area in 1741 looking to settle it. The two men were strangers to one another but decided to work together as they made their way around the land. For reasons unknown, the men fought one night and one killed the other. People claim the victim's spirit hasn't found rest since his murder, resulting in reports of disembodied yelling and shrieking that visitors still hear today. Locals believe some remains found in 1780 by Irish immigrant David Scobie may have belonged to the murdered man, though this hasn't been confirmed. Many other deaths, mostly due to drowning, have also been documented, including that of Scobie himself, who fell through a sheet of frozen ice that covered the lake during the spring of 1829. For years, people have reported hearing screams of agony and groans of pain coming from the lake. 